Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make fully custom message of the days using the Piston MOTD plugin. Now, since it is a plugin, we do need a version which does actually support them. And for this video, I'm going to be using Paper 1.19.3. And this will work all the way down to 1.12.2. So once you've selected your version, go ahead and click save and then restart your server. So now our server is ready. Go to the link in the description and you should find the Piston MOTD spigot page. Now if we scroll down a little bit here, we can see all the possibilities for what we can change the MOTD to. And as you can see, there is a ton of things. And it's much more customizable than if you were to just edit the MOTD by yourself. So if we go back up, we can go ahead and click download now. And then this will download the jar file. Once the jar file has downloaded, we're going to go back to Pebble Host and then go to the left to the file manager. You can then go to the plugins folder and then click upload file and then find your piston MOTD jar file and then upload it and then restart your server. So now to check the plugin has installed correctly, we're going to join our Minecraft server. Now you can actually see here already, the MOTD has changed. So that means that the plugin is actually working. So now we know the plugin is working, let's go ahead and configure it. So from the plugins folder, we're then going to go into the Piston MOTD folder, where in here we can then find config.yml. Now this config is pretty straightforward and it explains everything in quite deep detail. But I'm just going to run through a few key features. So if we look here, we can see that the description, which is currently enabled because it says true, these are four different possibilities that the MOTD can actually be. So if we actually go back to Minecraft, you can see it actually rotates between these different messages. So you can rotate around multiple different messages. And not only can you format these, you can also color code them. And you can see up here everything that is also supported. So let's go ahead and actually change one of these lines. So I'm simply going to change this first line to high, and then we're going to put percent new and then line and then percent and then instantly after that without a space you're going to put your next line of text so i've now made it high and then on a new line thanks for choosing pebble host now let's go ahead and actually color this so if you scroll up you can see they have left a link to a color code page and here you can find all the color codes now for this we're only actually going to need the letter or the number so let's say we wanted to use gold so we now know the code for gold is six so if we put it in before high, first of all, we're going to put the and symbol, and then we're going to put in six. So let's go ahead and save this. And now if you go into the server console, you can also do this in game as well. But we're going to do piston MOTD and then reload. And this will update the MOTD without you having to restart the server. So simply do that command and it says it has reloaded the config. So now if we go back to Minecraft and we refresh until we find it, you can see we now have high. Thanks for choosing Pebble Host in gold. Now, of course, you can color different lines and different words differently as well, and also use formatting, which you can also find on this page as well, such as bold, italic, underline, strike through, and then also obfuscated down here. And for these, you simply just take the letter instead of the number. So that is the description done. Now, if we scroll down to version, this will be the message that shows if someone's trying to join the server with an outdated client. For example, if your server is 1.19.3 and they try joining with a 1.18.2 client, it would show this message. So we're gonna change this text. I've changed it to requires 1.19.3. And currently this is going to be white. So let's change this. So I want it to be dark aqua. So I know that is three. So let's simply remove the one and replace it with a three. Then go ahead and save, and then you can run the same command in the console, which is piston, MOTD, and then reload. So I've now got a much older version of Minecraft. And as you can see, instead of being able to join, it says at the top, requires 1.19.3. And also if you hover over this, you can also see a few other things as well. Now we'll get onto this in just a minute. So next we have players, and this will override your actual player count. And as you can see here, this actually isn't supported on Spigot at the moment, but it will still work on paper, which is the version that we're using. So how this works is if we go ahead and actually activate it by changing false to true, we could change the online player count to anything we wanted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to, for example, 70. So then if we go ahead and save, and then if we run the reload command in the console once again, you can see here it actually says we have 70 out of 100 players, which of course we definitely don't. And you can also change the max amount of players, but of course this won't actually show how many players can join. This will just be basically a fake number. Or you can even hide the player count. So if we change this to true, save, and once again run the reload command, you can see here the player count is actually just three question marks. 
Now down here where it says sample, this is what shows if you hover over the player count. So as you can see, if you hover over the player count, we have this. So vanilla, if you activate this vanilla option, it will mean that if not joined your server, which is very unlikely, he won't show in the list. But what we really want to find is down here, where you can see all the text for what popped up. So what I'm actually going to do is just duplicate this one line. So of course, you can change any of this text and the colors as well, just like you could any of the other text. But just for this example, I've added a few more lines. So once again, go ahead and save and then reload the config. And now that we've reloaded it, if we go ahead and refresh, if we hover over this, you can see we have hello world, new line, spaces, and then the duplicated text that I did add. Now, of course, if you are using this fake play account, then you're probably going to want to take off the player's 0 out of 100 part. And for that, you're simply just going to take off this part. So I've just taken off and reloaded the config. And if we refresh, if we hover over, you can see it no longer says that. But it will still say and 62 more. Because technically, these lines are taking the place of player names. So next, we're going to be going over the icons. Now, first of all, go ahead and change this to true. And what you can do with this is you can pick a server icon, which you can do normally anyway, but you can still do it with this. Or you can have multiple server icons that the server will rotate around when you refresh the server page. As you can see, the icons must be 64 by 64 pixels and must be a PNG. And they have to be uploaded to this folder. And if we actually go back, you can find this folder right above the config. Now, I've already made some earlier. So I'm simply going to click upload, file, and then find my icons. So I've got a few different ones here. We'll then click open and it will upload them. So then if we go back to our config, if we go down to the icon, we can see the mode is currently on random, which means it will rotate around. However, if we pick single, we would change this mode to single, and then we put the file name for the single image that we want to use. But first of all, let's just reload. So now if we refresh our Minecraft page, you can see there's one of the images. There's another one, there's another one, and you see you can just get multiple different images, which you can't do normally. So it is actually very useful. Okay, so let's change this mode now to single. And one of my images was simply called galaxy.png. So now if we save, and then once again reload, we should only get this image. So now if we refresh, we can refresh again. We can refresh as many times as we want, and we should get this image every single time. So there you go. And then finally, the last thing that I'm going to show you, and pretty much the last thing in the plugin, is this extensions. So this means if you do have the plugin Super Vanish or Premium Vanish, and someone is vanished using that, you can make it so they won't show in the player count and also the sample, so when you hover over the player count. So simply just enabling these by changing false to true will remove that player from the player count and also the player sample. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time.